Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. In this video I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my new approach to art which has been on my mind for a while now but I just wanted to make a video about it. Uh, it's an approach that, I, that like, I think could be a helpful method for artists who love to play around um, who like who you know like to experiment with different styles and mediums, um, or artists who simply have a lot that they want to do with their art. They want to experiment, but maybe they feel stuck in this general requirement that you need to have a cohesive body of work that kind of makes you easily identifiable and almost becomes like your brand identity. So my most recent work was essentially this series I'll put on the screen. It's something like a trilogy. I don't know if that applies to art pieces as well, but yeah, I love working in threes. That's a side note, but this kind of sparked the idea to just work in series, which I'll break it down further in, in this video. But essentially what I want to do from now on is work in a series of three, you may choose to do five, six, seven, eight, ten, whatever you would like, um, and essentially work in a series where I can experiment while still making sure I have a cohesive body of work if I do choose to change things in between series. All right, so with the executive summary of this video done, I wanted to talk a little bit about the problem that I faced or the thought process on what led me to this point where I wanted to change my art approach or my method to um, making art, I guess. So I think this is probably relatable to a lot of artists, but there are so many things I want to try in in my art when it comes to uh, just, I don't know, playing around and experimenting and just having fun with it. Especially since one of the things that really helped me understand that I love making symbolic art that is up to interpretation was in high school when I got to play around with different mediums and topics and themes based on whatever my art teacher would assign in, in these art class assignments. And let me preface this by saying... I don't think this in itself will change, even as I take on this new approach. I will probably still stick to making symbolic pieces because I do find the most fulfillment uh, in them. But yeah, in short, I want to keep experimenting with my art. I want to try new mediums, subjects, themes, well, themes, we'll see about that, but I want to get out of my comfort zone and I think as an artist, we need to get out of our comfort zones so that we can grow and improve. And for a bit, I have I feel like I have been stagnant. I haven't seen much progress in my skills. And to see improvement and growth, I also want to be more mindful and conscious in my art practice. I need to be more reflective of my process when it comes to creating work, when it comes to how my final pieces look, etc, etc. But the issue comes here when it's like an unofficial rule that you should have an established style, you know, a cohesive body of work that makes you easily identifiable among other artists. So it is a bit of a predicament predicament? Is that how you pronounce that word? It is a tough spot, I suppose, where you have to not only have a cohesive body of work, but you also want to improve and grow. But to improve and grow, you need to be out of your comfort zone trying things that are perhaps a little new to you, whether it be stylistically, whether it be in terms of subject matter, medium, whatever it may be. So the idea I got while working on the pieces that I showed earlier in the video was to approach my art in series of three, meaning I will still create at least three cohesive pieces. And as I mentioned earlier, you may choose to do five, ten, however many fits your art goals. 
while still getting to try something new for the following series of artworks, if that makes sense. I'll explain more. Um, so if I want to try something new, I'll of course first need to practice it. So this will also allow me to grow as an artist as I will practice the required skills or the medium or the subject matter that I want to focus on for that series. And I'll do so in my sketchbook if I want to be able to, at the end of the day, have three finished pieces out of my chosen focus point. So let's say I am drawn to high contrast paintings with typically dark backgrounds, which is pretty true as I look at kind of my Pinterest uh, art inspo folder. So this could be very much a set of skills or a style that I practice in my sketchbook until I feel decent at it. I can study the art of other artists and then bring this, um, bring it to life by completing three finished pieces that kind of reflects all the practice that I had been doing. And after doing that, I can reflect on the elements that I liked, I didn't like, if it was something I wanted to stylistically pursue or not, or um, if there was some stuff in there that I think could I could do better, things like that. So this will also allow me to be a bit more conscious and more reflective in my art practice. I can also focus on something else in another series if I wanted to. So I could focus on color or the lack thereof, so maybe make black and white art pieces or uh, monochromatic art pieces. I can try focusing specifically on objects that represent specific eras in history or my culture, just because like in my culture we have a lot of ornate objects and ornate things that I really love the detailing of. So honestly, I can pick up oil pastels if I want to. I can try making actually finished pieces with gouache paints as opposed to just leaving them as sketchbook studies. Like There's so much I can do in terms of not just experimenting, but also getting out of my comfort zone and pushing my boundaries as an artist so that I can hopefully get out of this place where I feel very stagnant. There's also so much I can do in terms of reflecting on my learning and hopefully improve stylistically while still having a somewhat cohesive body of work. Sure, three pieces might seem a little less. Again, you can do 5-10 based on your goals, but this is what I think hopefully will work for me. And to be honest, I already have a theme and subject matter that I want to focus on for my next series. Um, it is something simple, though. It's not, it's not super out of my comfort zone, which is ironic considering I've talked a lot about comfort zones and pushing my skill sets, etc. throughout this video. But I want to just give this idea a try. I want to see where it takes me. Um, I want to see if... It does, in fact, align with my current art goals and the things that I want to achieve with my art. See if it is an actually good idea for my art practice to implement something like this. So we'll see. Um, but essentially in this series, I'm going to focus or I want to focus on someone very important in my life and flowers. So very simple. I don't think I'll need to do a lot of studies for it, to be honest. Maybe beyond just practicing more flowers in my sketchbook. I might choose to do it with a different medium, perhaps. Or I might just choose to pick a different type of um, style I want to focus on with this. Maybe darker backgrounds, as I was saying. Um, I was drawn to them before, so I don't know, but in terms of subject and the main focus, I already have that planned out. I might just stick to that and not introduce any other compli complicated elements, or I may just choose to 
do you know dark backgrounds and contrasts or I don't know we'll see but yeah I don't know I I don't know how long I'll do this series of three approach for maybe it will only be a few series and I'll get bored of it or you know maybe I will stick to it and eventually find something I like from each series that I complete and things that I like that I can incorporate in all of my pieces moving forward as as I continue on this journey of improving my art style essentially. I just don't want art to ever become something that is boring for me and something where I feel I am just stagnant, just floating. <laughs> I want to play around with it but you know, I, I also need to make sure that I have a somewhat consistent style that others can recognize my work by. And yeah, it is it is a tough spot, I think, for a lot of artists. But a good I, I think a series is a good in between where I can learn, I can try new things, and maybe even evolve my style while also having a body of work that is somewhat consistent with each other. So to summarize, the end goal with this type of approach to art, or as I ca I'll call it in the title or something, uh, the best method for, I don't know, artists or experimental artists, I don't know, I'll, I'll see what I named the title, but the end goal with this type of series approach which I'm sure is not revolutionary I'm sure a lot of artists do this anyways but is number one experimenting I want to experiment I want to um, I have a lot of mediums that I have not even touched for a long time I have acrylics I have oil paints I have oil pastels I have a lot of art mediums that I think you I could get some decent use out of. Um, number two, learning. I want to learn. I don't want to be stagnant anymore. I want to see some sort of progress, hopefully, fingers crossed. Number three, I'm going to say adaptability, and I do have these listed in front of me, but um, I want to, I don't know, I feel like by doing this, I'll be able to hopefully try and get better at different styles, mediums, subjects, and be a bit more of a well-rounded artist. Number four, getting out of my comfort zone. I've said that a lot. I feel like I've elaborated fairly extensively throughout this video on this one. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I think by doing this, I'll be getting out of my comfort zone. And to do that, to get out of my comfort zone, there will be uh, practice required, which hopefully will lead to more progress. So, meaning, this will, the end goal is practice and progress as well. So, what is that? Five, six, and then seven, let's just say trying new things. It goes in alignment with everything else I've said throughout this video and all of the end goals that I kind of listed earlier but yeah let's just try new things and have fun with art worst case scenario they just remain uh, practice pieces in my sketchbook that I don't like and if I don't like it then it's something I know I'll be like hey okay I don't want to incorporate this in my style no problem move on so we'll see and yeah, I think that's all I wanted to kind of talk about in this video. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and listening to me ramble. It's just been something that's been stuck in my head that I wanted to do and wanted to just share with other artists and hopefully see if it helps anyone or just honestly share this so that if the trajectory of my videos kind of changed down the line where I'm doing a lot more practice videos or my style seems like I'm just doing something random then at least there's some sort of explanation for it but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one